Welcome to Electron Online. In this video and the few to come after this, we're going to do a few examples of how to draw the field lines when we have certain charge distributions. The rules that we should follow are as follows. First of all, the field lines, they must leave and arrive perpendicular to the surface, and that's really important. When you don't do that, things are not going to look correct. Secondly, the lines always start at a positive charge and they end at a negative charge. So we do want to represent the charges by, or the charge on an object by individual charges so that we have targets. We can start from a charge and end at a charge, which makes it easier. Notice in this case, we'll have an equal number of positive charges and we have negative charges, which makes it a little bit easier to draw. And then we'll see some examples where they're not equal to one another. Thirdly, the number of lines are proportional to the number of charges. So the more charges you have, the more lines you're going to have. And finally, make sure that things are symmetric, especially if the charges are situated symmetrically, then the line should be symmetric as well. So what we're going to do is realize since all the lines go from positive charges to negative charges, we pick a positive charge, the one that's closest to the negative charge, and then we can draw a line straight across. So this will be our first line straight across. Now we need to have a line going from here to this charge and we realize that they need to end and arrive perpendicular to the surface, which means the line should start like this and the line should start like this. And then it begins to curve because of course the positive charge is attracted to the negative charge and vice versa. So that means that the, the, the field line or the electric field line will look something like that. As long as you have the start perpendicular to the surface, the rest you can just kind of uh, estimate to the best of your ability. And then here at the bottom, you do the same thing. You start coming straight out of the surface, will arise straight into the surface, and then we'll have something that looks like this. Now notice the symmetry comes in that this should look pretty well the same as over here, that they should look alike because the geometry of it is exactly the same. Now what do we do with the charge on this side and the charge on this side? Well, since they're completely opposite one another, and we know that the positive charges need to move away from the, the line must move away from positive charge and arrive at a negative charge, then we have no choice but to simply just go straight out this way and to come straight in on this charge right like that. And that will then be the way you want to draw the electric field lines in a simple case like this. So we'll go ahead and make it a little bit more complicated. On the next example, you can see how to go out doing that. That's how it's done. 